Welcome to Career Talks with Sri. My name is Sri Vidya Santosh and I'll provide unbiased guidance when it comes to higher education, premium institutes, entrance examinations, etc. You're watching Career Guidance Q&A Part 19, wherein I answer your queries. Let's get on to the question. First question is from Abhinaya Sri. The question is, can we go to a foreign country for a job after completing PharmD? Definitely. As you all know, PharmD is a six-year program which can be done directly after grade 12th. After completing PharmD, if your aim is to get to a foreign country and work there, you can definitely do that. If you're still doubtful on what PharmD is, I have done a single video explaining what exactly PharmD is. If you have not watched that video, please click the i button and watch that video to get a perfect idea on what PharmD is. Good luck. from Rishna. There is also another question which is from Manasa Patmavadi. Both are asking about anesthesia program. Rishna's question is specifically about nurse anesthetist and Manasa Patmavadi is asking about BSc anesthesia program. I want both of you to understand that these are two different programs. I combined both these questions so that it belongs to the same genre. That's it. Um, so BSc anesthesia is something that you can do directly after your grade 12. Once you complete your BSc Anesthesia program, you will not be able to do any other nursing related works because you have completely concentrated on anesthesia related program. Wherein, if you are planning to become a nurse anesthetist, there is no particular course in India which says, okay, like you can do a nurse anesthesia program after 12th. No, it does not work like that. You have to go for a BSc nursing program first and then you have to do a fixed number of uh, work in hospitals after completing that you have to get certifications there in after that in india there is something called crna you can get licensed through that and then you can become a nurse anesthetist that is the process that we have in india unlike in foreign countries uh, i would say that a nurse anesthetist has not become that popular in our country maybe after years the conditions may change but as of now it is not that popular and most of the hospitals around us does not have that sort of a position Okay, and moreover, in our country, we have uh, BSc Anesthesia programs that can be done after 12. So those children are also out there to help the doctors or assist the anesthetists for doing all these things. So consider all these things before proceeding for these type of programs. Question is from Al Shafnats. Uh, I'm studying plus two commerce. How to study for NDA exam? Which book I should learn? Can you explain? So Al Shafnas, uh, regarding NDA exam, again, like I've done a video regarding the NDA exam, uh, wherein like I've explained in detail about the syllabus and other things. Um, if you have not watched the video yet, please do watch that video. But to give you a gist about it, let me tell you that there is mathematics, there is uh, general knowledge, which includes uh, a lot of things like current affairs and um, the history and economics and things like that. So if you are a commerce student, the one problem that you may face is there is commerce with math and without maths. So if you have taken up commerce without mathematics, then it is going to be a little difficult for you. In the syllabus, it clearly says that it is mathematics up till grade 10. But let me tell you that if you go through the question paper, you will understand that it's not mathematics up till grade 10. It's a little more complicated. So if you have not studied math in grade 11 and 12, you are going to find it difficult when it comes to the examination. So if you have taken up commerce and not have taken math as an optional subject in commerce stream what i would suggest is to go for a math uh, coaching right away or else you will find it difficult now if you have taken up mathematics fine you can even do the coaching from home it is not mandatory that you have to go for an nda coaching for cracking the exam there are a lot of books available in the market you can go to any bookstore ask for nda exam books there are different books of this size that you can find in the market. I'm not going to name uh, any publishers because there are a lot of books in the market. Okay, just go find one and start your coaching. And please do understand that once you write your NDA examination and if you clear it, there is a second thing that you have to clear, which is called an SSB. Okay, Service Selection Board ka five day long interview. And there are even books in the market which gives you explanation of what SSB is. 
so uh, while doing the nda coaching or while you prepare for the nda examination also have an idea at least have an idea about what ssb is some children they do start the preparation for ssb only after completing their nda ka thing so it's only ssb comes only if they clear nda right so they do it only then but i would say ssb is not something like an entrance examination wherein you can go for a coaching and completely do that so better have an idea of what it is and because it all depends on how you groom yourself okay so start your preparations for that too uh now your your question was very specific on like what books you should buy for preparing for nda my answer is please go to a bookstore ask for the nda exam textbooks a lot of uh, question banks are available and do start the preparation and also remember there are a lot of mock tests that are available online do write the mock test to have an idea because practice makes you perfect Uh, the question is from Gopika Sunil. Gopika is asking about IIT JAM, okay, and she's a BSc Math student. Uh, her question is, what should be the preparation strategy for IIT JAM, and when should she start the preparation? I'm so glad that like you have come to know about IIT JAM. <laughs> Don't take me wrong. I've seen a lot of students who are at going graduation who does not have an idea about what IIT JAM is. Uh, everybody knows about the JEE examination, but nobody is aware about JAM. That is the thing. Maybe because of the marketing strategies. That's what I think. <laughs> because JEE, there are a lot of coaching centers, and they do a lot of uh, branding exercises and marketing exercises for their coaching centers. So a lot of people know about it. See, JEE is an examination that you write after your grade twelve for getting into places like IIT. Now, after completing your graduation, there there are scopes for you to get into IITs for your master degree programs. I'm not talking about the M Tech program here. I'm talking about the MSc level programs. So, if you're planning to get into IITs for these type of, by the way, don't ever think that like IITs are places which only has B Tech and M Tech. Okay, they have a lot of other programs. One of such programs are their MSc programs. Even if you have studied your undergraduate from any college, as far it matters, even if it is not a premium institute, it is fine. You still have chances for getting into an IIT for doing your master's degree, and there you have to crack this examination called IIT JAM. Now, the preparations for IIT JAM, I would say, if you are so keen on getting into all these things, please start your preparation well in advance. Uh, at least from the second year of Uh, your undergraduate you should start your preparation because um, the first thing about this is to understand the exam pattern and syllabus of the examination unlike je wherein we can clearly say you have to everybody has to write physics chemistry mathematics for writing a je examination if it is paper 1 um i cannot say the same way for a jam examination for each of the subjects that you are planning to get into the syllabus is going to differ okay so i'll do a uh, separate video on what iit jam is and what are the different uh, syllabus that are included in different papers and things like that uh, so as of now since it is a q and a session where i don't have much of time for explaining each and every question let me tell you that you you have to understand that the syllabus is different for each of these things so better understand the pattern and syllabus by searching in the internet and then start your preparation you won't find much of coaching centers but still there are coaching centers if you are planning to go and study in a coaching center please proceed that way or else you can always start your own preparation but here again i want to tell you that you have to um, try working on mock question papers because practice is what uh, that is going to help you to crack all these type of things good luck The question is from Akhila, and she's asking about radiology course. How to apply for this course, and when to apply? See, radiology course we don't have a separate entrance examination like a JEE or NEET that you have to clear for getting into BSc Radiology. Uh, BSc Radiology admissions in most of the states in India is dependent on the twelfth grade marks, which is called the qualifying examination marks. So work well for your public examination with that score. Uh, please identify which institute you are planning to get in. Each of the institute in each of the state will have their own type of a um, criteria or condition that they will set forth. Most of the places, as I said, they will not have a separate entrance examination. So apply separately, and with the qualifying marks, you will get through. Here we come to an end of Q and A part nineteen. 
I know that you still have a lot of queries regarding your higher education. Whatever confusions that you have, please drop in those questions in the comments below so that I can pick those questions and answer in an upcoming video. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.